Good morning, great sister. How are you all doing? Welcome to another wonderful class. Today is Wednesday, 13th January 2021, and it is our English class, okay? Our English lesson. So, yesterday was all about grammar chapter when we did review of all we've been learning all this while. I hope that class was very interesting for you. Okay, now we are going to move into another topic. So, but before we go there, we look at our core value for the month. It's still the month of January and it's still loyalty. Then here we have a little explanation about it. We'll say, there are three precious things you must endeavor to have in the course of your life, which is trust, and then loyalty, and respect. Try as much as you can to trust people and make sure people can trust you. Be loyal to people and they will be equally loyal to you. Then show respect is very important to one another. So we continue with today's lesson. This is the topic for discussion. It's all about comprehension focus. But we will be looking at consolidation of new language in famous hours. And this is coming from our language book, page 62 and then page 64. So this page 62 of our language book, we're going to read, it's all about reading, so we can read and comprehend what we are going to read. And then page 64 will be all about the activities, where we will answer the question for what we read from page 62. Here are the key words for today's lesson. This is if a tower. So here, if a tower TV is located in Paris, the tower is made of steel. The tower attracts thousands of tourists because of its fascinating multi-layered structure and the innumerable activities that it houses. So that is the parental. Here is a Ostan Kilon. This is Ostan Kilon Tower. This is the Russian TV and radio broadcasting network. Standing five, standing 540.1 meters, okay, and 1,772 feet. And then here we have Garkin. This Garkin is a skyscraper in London's main financial district. The city of London completed in December 2003 and opened in April 2004. All this you see listed here are famous places in the world. What is famous? Our next slide will explain better what famous is. Here we are going to look at the objectives first. We'll say at the end of the lesson, students are expected to read and consolidate new language in famous style. And then the second one says, to help students develop the knowledge, skills, and strategies they must possess to become proficient and independent readers who read with many. So we want you to read with many, read with understanding. So when you read, you'll be able to understand. So let's take a look at what famous is. For a better understanding and a clearer picture, we we'll say what is famous? Famous is someone or something that is well known by almost everyone. Take an example, in our school, there is a person that will come out of the school right now. Everybody in the school knows that person, or Mr. C, for example, or Mrs. Cecilia. Once they show, you know them. Everybody in the school, they grade one to grade six. So they become famous, you can use them as being famous in our school premises. Do you understand that? Okay, lesson begins. Let's start the class lesson. Okay, these are the more closer shots of the famous towns, or famous towers rather, that we have in the world. So look at them here, this is in France. And this is in China, this is in Moscow, and this is in England. Okay? Now, we are going to read. 
Remember our objective, say, is for you to read and to be able to consolidate new language, okay, in a, a famous tower. Here, just take a listen. Tall towers and buildings are not new. This is great lighthouse of Alexandria. The Egyptians built it more than 2,000 years ago. The lighthouse was on an island near Alexandria. It was important because the island was dangerous for sheep. That's the island saying that it was very dangerous for sheep, so they need to be careful with it. Here, the lighthouse was a very tall building. It was 117 meters tall. There are now lighthouses all over the world. The great lighthouse of Alexandra was the first. So this was the first ever lighthouse recorded in the world. Okay? And they said it was very dangerous for ships. Now we continue. The lighthouse was as tall as a new building with 40 floors. So you see 170 meters and 40 floors. This is the balcony and the lighthouse tower. The mirror, it has a mirror at the top of it all, then fire at night. When it is dark in the night, it comes up with fire. There was a mirror at the top of the tower, which is this. It was a signal for ships. In the daytime, at night, there was a fire. Okay? So now we are going to answer questions based on what we read. Okay, we still have one more to go before we do that. The building was in three parts. That we have the building, one part, two parts, three parts. So it's good when you read, you'll be able to follow a sequence of what is happening in the story or in the article you are reading so you'll be able to understand. Here, the third part was the lighthouse tower. The third part of the building was the lighthouse tower. The second part, the lighthouse tower was eight-sided. So it was eight-sided, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, okay? Here, there was a balcony. The views were fantastic. It, is, it was it's beautiful, sorry. There were many visitors to the lighthouse. There, there was a place to eat on the first floor. So he is trying to tell us how beautiful the tower is. The kind of things they do there. There are places you eat. There are so many beautiful back then. Fantastic views you can see. Okay? So now the first floor. This is the first floor. This is the second floor. And the third floor is what I showed you earlier before I brought this page. Now here it says the lighthouse was very famous. It was on Roman coins. So now we are going to do our activity. This is our activity. Reading and understanding. Now, what we've read, we are now going to answer the questions. So let's try and see what we are able to comprehend. Remember what I told you comprehension is? is the ability to read, understand, or read and comprehend what you've read so that when you are asked questions based on what you've read, you will be able to provide answers to them. So here, let's say, read and write the correct numbers. We have 117, 8, 2000, 40, 3, and 1st. Now here we go. The number 1 says, The Egyptians built the great lighthouse of Alexandria more than dash years ago. More than how many years ago? More than 2000 years ago. More than 2000 years ago. It was dash meter tall. How many meters tall was it? It was 117 meters tall. Okay? Now number three says that is as tall as a building with dash floors. You remember how many floors it was? Of course, we read it in the previous slides. We said it was 40 floors. Now, based on what we've read, I want you to try your comprehending skills and answer this. Were you able to comprehend it? Uh, comprehend the uh, previous slides we read 
If yes, please do answer and fill out the blanks. Okay? Okay. Now we continue with the lesson. Here, I already helped us with this so that it won't be that the lesson will be too long and boring. Right? Here, we say, then read. Then name the things in the picture. A lighthouse was important because the island was dangerous for ships. The great lighthouse was in three parts. The third part was the tower. A mirror was at the top of the tower. That is the top of the tower. Now here, at night, there was a light, which is thus. There was also a balcony at the top of the tower. The views were fantastic. Okay? So, I already laid out it. This is just to make it a little bit easier for you. But I don't want you to take your time, go through what I've laid out, study, know it for yourself, know what comes where you should come, and then do a bit writing. Okay? Alright. This is our homework. Our homework is on page 49, practice book. I want you to read the story and then put down the answers here. Okay? So that is it on our English class today. I want to say thank you for your time. Do be good and stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow in our next class. Bye.